What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. So we're gonna be getting the oil pump installed on the Chevelle's Forge 6 liter. And I'm going to show you guys the quickest way I have seen and actually done in order to get this oil pump shimmed and properly installed. So let's get to it. Over here we got our Melling high pressure um, LS oil pump. Uh, it's the 102.95. This thing comes with a couple extra springs. The red spring is going to be the high pressure one. The blue one is going to be a lower pressure. Um, I think it said it would drop at about 8 psi. It does not affect the um, idle pressure, so it's just the higher end pressure. And it also comes with a copo spring, which is a Camaro limited edition Camaro copo spring. It's basically made to simulate that, and that will actually increase. Uh, the PSI of oil pressure about 15 PSI over the red spring. So being how this is a boosted application and I don't see any reason why more oil pressure is a bad thing We're gonna go ahead and swap the red spring out But first thing we want to do is we want to get this pump on and get it shimmed properly. So to do that It's very simple Just need to get this oil pump to line up with the keys and then rotate it around and then we're going to go ahead and finger tight the oil pump bolts Now we got them finger tight. You can still see the oil pump has plenty of movement. It can still move around real well. And then we're going to use a T30 Torx bit to buzz off the um, front cover on the oil pump. Now right, let's go ahead and buzz these off. All right. This is what the inside of the oil pump looks like. So in order to shim this and get it centered perfectly, it's very simple. We're just going to need two feeler gauges, two and a two and a half thou. And we're just going to go ahead and start by installing one of them on the bottom and pushing it in all the way. And then we'll go ahead and install the next one on the top. And what this is going to do is obviously it's shimming us up and down, but since these feeler gauges wrap around so far, it's actually shimming it this way in this way, which is shimming it in all directions. So it's going to be perfectly shimmed right where we want it. Okay. So now that we have that centered where it needs to be, we're going to go ahead and just snug these bolts down and lock this thing into place. And we're going to go ahead and torque the oil pump down to the block to 18 foot pounds. All right, with our oil pump torques down, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the feeler gauges and put just a little bit of lubricant in these gears so that we don't have a dry startup. So we're going to go ahead and load this thing down with some lube and then we'll install the front cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, just squirt a little bit of uh, assembly lube into each one of these cavities. A little lube never hurt anyone. Nobody likes a dry pump. And then we'll go ahead and rotate the motor over and get these lower ones. Oops. All right, with a little bit of lubricant in there, let's go ahead and get this front cover on. Now I like to put just a dab of Loctite on each one of these bolts and drive them home to 106 inch pounds, not foot pounds.
We'll just get them cinched up with the impact and torque them down. And these things are torqued to 106 inch pounds. And 100, that's roughly 8.83 foot pounds if you don't have a inch pound torque wrench. And again, we'll just go over all of them, just make sure that we didn't skip one. All right. All right guys, that's gonna be the install process I use for installing an LS-based uh, oil pump, making sure we get it shimmed properly so that we don't have any interference issues with the uh, pump wearing on the housing, the pump gears and drives wearing on the housing. I believe with the first pump, we did not shim it properly, even though we tried, we were doing the multiple different spots with the feeler gauges and rotating the motor over. And I don't think we ever quite got it right. And there was some wear on the pump housing on the first pump. So this way so far has worked perfectly and flawlessly for the last two oil pumps. I'm gonna to continue to do it this way. If you guys uh, have any other questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, check out the next video where we get the uh, pickup tube and the oil pan and timing chain or timing cover all installed. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out our Amazon affiliate links and hit up ftpspeedshop.com. Get some merch, help support the channel. Catch you on the next one.